Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to create and manage booking rules. Functions such as closing to arrivals, minimum lengths of stay, and setting inventory allocations are just a few of the requirements you can create in Cloud PM's Booking Rules tool. You'll access booking rules from GM functions under the Rooms and Rates category. Just click the Booking Rules link. We have a toolbar along the top where we can add new rules or delete old ones. And you see I have a few booking rules in place just below the toolbar. Building a booking rule is a little bit like telling a story. You need a when, where, who, what, and how. I'll show you what I mean, starting with when. You can set a rule for as little as a single day or 30 years into the future. When continues with day of week. We can choose to apply this rule only on specific days of the week, or, as in this case, the rule is in force on every day of the date range. The Apply To list tells Cloud PM where the rule should go. You can set a rule locally, to your central reservation system, and, if your hotel uses MSI's Web Res system, to your hotel's website. The WHO in our booking rules story are the rate codes and room types. This rule has several rate codes which all have a two-night minimum, so we've simply marked all of them on one line rather than doing a separate rule for each code. By the way, if you set a rule on a rate code that has dynamic rates linked to it, such as RAC, the rule will also apply to the dynamic rates. It's not necessary to check those rates individually in the drop-down list. A rule can apply to all room types, like this example, or you can select specific room types as we've done here. The booking rule is the what of our story. We can set a minimum or maximum length of stay, set an inventory allocation, close or reopen inventory, or close to arrivals. Some of these rules need to specify a number, so that's where the value column comes in. It's where we can set how many nights our minimum or maximum length of stay is for, or how many rooms we're allocating. Open, close, and close to arrivals don't require a value setting. These last two columns can't be edited. They're the log entries displaying the date this line was last edited and who did it. When a rule expires, it will cease to be enforced, but if you want to end a rule manually, just select it from the list and click Delete. So what happens when a reservation request doesn't follow the rules? Here on the rate quoter, you see the BOGO rate has both a minimum and a maximum under booking rules. And since this quote is for one night, the rate cannot be reserved. Likewise, if we attempt to make a new reservation, Cloud PM will tell us that rate isn't available. For hotels with a central reservation or MSI WebRes interface, the rate will not be an available option if the reservation request doesn't meet the rules requirement. To learn more about Cloud PM's rate management features, watch our videos on Day of Week, Day of Stay, Extended Stay and Dynamic Rates, Rate Tiers, and the Daily Rate Manager. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.